right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here, downtown Detroit, Michigan. Not a whole lot to see around me here. There's Tiger Stadium over there someplace. Some beautiful flowers. We've got the sun in the sign of Virgo in the early degrees of Virgo, right? Focused, very focused, analytical, precise. We've got Mercury in Virgo as well. Mercury is home in Virgo, helping us out. Oh, so cool. Did you see that bird just fly by? Uh, Mercury's helping us out again to stay focused and to get our minds sharp and our minds right. Uh, with a lot of elusive energy of Neptune and Pisces, uh, we have Venus and Cancer, so a lot of emotional stuff, things can go hidden. So Mercury and the Sun uh, in the sign of Virgo is extremely, extremely helpful right now. Again, to get us some clarity, some focused energy. Um, as well, we've got the moon moving into the sign of Scorpio today, all right, for this Sunday fun day. And it's a really interesting uh, place to be because the, the moon is going to create an, uh, a septile to the sun. Okay, so the moon in Scorpio, sextile to the sun, excuse me. All right, so that's a 60 degree connection. Sextile is the easy flow of energy between two different, two different elements, right? So moon in water sign, Scorpio. You know, dealing with the deep, hidden emotions, things that are beneath the surface. You know, sex, money, power, control. You know, so what kind of uh, power issues are we dealing with? What kind of control issues are we dealing with right now? Uh, as well as we can be dealing with things of addiction, right? With uh, with all of this Virgo energy as well, we can definitely be dealing with and, and highlighting in our life where where do we feel that we're being escaping from you know this is the 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 Pisces Virgo axis okay escaping from this reality and being so very much in this reality uh, so over this next month while the Sun and as well Virgo are in the sign uh, uh, the Sun and Mercury are in the sign of Virgo we're going to be dealing with any sort of um, addictions that we're going on in our lives that are coming up with things that we're you know uh, repeating circles that we keep coming back to that we need to release and let go of so those will definitely be highlighted when the when the moon enters Scorpio with the sextile here Sunday morning you know it's certainly going to highlight that and bring them to attention you know where have we given our power away through uh, addictions or through um, our own idea concepts of unworthiness right we have the moon creating an opposition to Mars, to Eris. How are we dealing with decisions? How are we um, in our own suit of our own power, which is a natural uh, aspect of life, right? Uh, our own great strengths, our own, you know, um, power, uh, authority. Not, not authority, but like, uh, how do you want to say? You know, like, like, Scorpio rules Hades, right? Hades and Persephone. It's like they're the, the lords, this, this uh, strong, very strong energy, a uh, very strong pull. So we have this strong pull of, uh, you know, not only just deep emotions and deep feelings, but again, those, those things that we don't always talk about. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the words here for you today. Either way, where have we given our power away? Okay, where have we given our power away? Or where we don't feel powerful enough? Now, we have, again, this opposition here to Chiron, or excuse me, to Aries, Eris, and Mars in Aries. And we also have an opposition to Uranus in Taurus, which is going to be going on all day. So we're, we're leaving this opposition from Mars. So it's saying, where have I not taken the actions that are necessary for me to put myself in a position of power? All right. And again, we're seeing power in a positive way at this, in this, in this sense, you know, our own internal strength, our own um, veracity, if you will, right? That, that um, charismatic energy, you know, it's not power and strength and might like we would have there in Leo. You know, this is a different kind of energy, different kind of strength. So where have we given this away? And if we can be focused and highlight these things in our life that's going on with all this Virgo energy, right? 
get focused about it. And then we have this opposition Uranus to the moon, emotional, emotional needs, you know, to understand the depths of our own souls, to understand the depths of ourselves, the depths of our own, you know, power issues. Not, not, not the negative side, not that we don't need to be powerful or, or uh, you know, important in that sense, but it's where have we given it away and not, not thinking that we're good enough to receive or to do, you know, to take that action. So this, this opposition today is certainly going to be a, a blessing, you know, in kind of breaking through the old that we no longer, um, that no longer serves us. And again, as well as it's a breakthrough in, in money and material possessions and bringing us back to a place of emotional, uh, empathetic care, that the emotions are something that we value over material possessions and things. All right, so this is our Sunday fun day. Whee! <laughs> Not the best skyline of Detroit today, but that's all right. All right, friends. Happy Sunday fun day. We will see you tomorrow.